Hey guys, it's Jenks. Welcome back to my channel. Girl, it's been a long ass time. I've been gone for two months and I don't know what the hell I was doing. Well, actually, I do know what I was doing. Bitch, I was depressed. I need Jesus. Nah, but I'm not gonna bore y'all with details because I do want to get to today's topic. But, long story short, I was just in a depressive mindset where I lost motivation and creativity for all my content creation. And then on top of that... But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby! Cause this one's a screamer! I was okay struggling with some PTSD from some shit I went through in the past, so that was great. And then the stress and the PTSD made me break out. PTSD? PSTD? PS... Bitch, is it PSTD or PTSD? <laughs> My face looked disgusting, trash, rubbish, garbage, scum. Scum? Scum? The f does scum mean? <laughs> Nah, but my skin looked really bad. I'm gonna insert a video or a picture right here. Like, I don't know. I hated it. Like, I, 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 ooh, I was going through it, bitch. But a bitch survived and I'm ready to go. I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. Alright, so let's get straight into today's topic. And today's topic is me dropping out of college. So I dropped out two years ago in 2018. And I literally did one semester of fucking college. And then after that, I was like, yeah, I gotta go. And then I dipped. And I was actually studying a business major at a school in New York. And let me just tell you, it it was different. So let me just get into why I left. So here are the three reasons. So the first reason is that my heart and my mind just wasn't there. It was one of those situations where you're physically in a situation, but mentally you're out of it. That's how I was, bitch. It's like that feeling that like I'm not passionate about this and the thing that I'm passionate about is out there and I feel like I'm wasting my time. And the thing that I was passionate about was entertainment. And so the whole semester, there was just something in me that felt incomplete and my mind was elsewhere. Like I was physically doing my homework. I was physically doing everything like taking tests taking exams doing all that but like I low-key didn't care about it and I also like just didn't feel like I belong and I know what some of y'all are thinking like I did could have waited after college to actually go pursue entertainment but the problem is this goes into the second reason why I left is that I started losing hair and I started breaking out really badly I mean I don't know if y'all could tell but my hair got really thin and like you could low-key see my scalp like if I go I don't want to do it on camera because I'm kind of shy and insecure well, I'm not insecure, but it's just like one of those things where I'm like trying to avoid at all costs, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't want my hair to fall out. But like I was trying to say, obviously school is very stressful. And one of the things that happens to me when I get stressed out is that I break out and my hair falls out. And that is the most annoying part ever. And the crazy thing is, I actually went to my dermatologist and I asked her about it and we got blood work done. I did it twice. I did it once in 2018 and once in 2019 and both results, nothing was in my blood. Nothing was wrong with my body. And I asked her what was up and she was like, oh, it's most likely due to stress. So that's great. And I'm not gonna lie, originally that was my game plan. Like after college, I wanted to go pursue entertainment. But then I sat there and thought about it. What if hypothetically I lost a majority of my hair by the end of college? Who is going to want to watch a 22 year old trying to work in entertainment? Like, bitch, do you know any bald 22 year olds? Oh wait. No, you don't. So yeah, for that very same reason, I was like, yo, I gotta get out ASAP. And then the last and final reason is just that I literally felt like an outsider. I was one of five people of color in my 30 person classrooms. I don't know how to explain it, but I felt like a fish out of water. I felt like I didn't belong. And I don't know if it was them projecting that onto me or it was just my mentality going into it, but I literally felt like I didn't belong there. Like I was literally the odd man out. Now keep in mind, most of the schools in Manhattan, like the majority of students are white, but growing up for for me, the area that I grew up in and the school that I went to, it was mainly black and Hispanic students and then obviously some South Asian and then some Caribbean. So for me, when I transitioned from high school to college, this was like a huge like mind blowing situation for me because I was like, I don't know what the hell is happening. Like for once in my life, I actually felt like I was a minority. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to like make that make sense. But for once, I realized that yeah, one, I was a minority and two, this is what it feels like. Like I'm literally not even joking when I say in my graduating class, it was probably like five to ten white kids out of what 300 other students like what that is literally insane so for me that transition was so weird all right so now that i talked about the reasoning let me talk about if i have any regrets 
That's my credo. No regrets. Honestly, if I'm gonna be real, I don't regret it at all because I do feel like I accomplished some really cool things. For example, in terms of the entertainment part, I did do an episode of Best of Fix Bay for Seventeen magazine where I ended up second place. I did two episodes of Single Doubt featuring Kiki Palmer, which is really cool and she's so pretty in person and then I also had multiple viral videos on TikTok and I had two viral videos on Twitter which was really dope and it was an interesting experience because when you go viral that shit is so overwhelming like yeah I kind of sort of wanted this but at the same time I'm like yo this is a lot because like I'm the type of person where I'm trying to be nice and I'm trying to like reply to every single comment but then when it actually happens it's like Fuck, bitch, this is a lot. But um, I'm not complaining. But, and then I also had a viral video uh, that BuzzFeed reposted, and then they also interviewed me. And that was actually really cool too. I feel like I accomplished a lot for two years. Now, of course, there could have been more over the course of two years, but the reality of the situation is without a proper management team or like without proper representation, it's far harder to find auditions to go to. Acting auditions, reality TV auditions, all that type of stuff, it's really hard to get into. But even regardless of that, I still do feel like it was a great experience for me because I was able to learn a lot from the entertainment industry just by being on set like you really just get to observe everyone doing their job and it's still really cool and it made me realize that like yeah this is exactly what I want to do with the rest of my life bitch also another thing to add is that i feel like being away from college made me realize who i am and it made me like find myself in a way that i don't think i would be able to if i was in college like honestly these past two years have just been like this really intense spiritual journey for me and i think if i was distracted by you know deadlines and homework and exams and all that type of stuff i don't think i would be able to put all that energy into myself if you know what i mean so i feel like i am grateful for that aspect also like i was honestly really able to learn about myself I was able to learn about people around me I was able to learn about how the world works in general and that was really dope like I'm not even exaggerating this like finding the time to actually pour energy into yourself and work on the things that you need to work on is a blessing like oh my god like I don't waste any time with my life anytime I get free time I'm always trying to fix something or I'm always trying to work on something in my own life that's just how I am and I'm grateful for these two years that I was able to do that and I feel like I know myself now enough to go to another situation where I'm not going to be phased by any outer situation that tries to affect me like i'm good bitch you can't phase me don't fuck with me and going back to the whole race thing where i felt uncomfortable in the beginning i feel like if i was in that same situation now i wouldn't be as phased just because like i know what i bring to the table and i know that the things that make you different in life are your very same strengths and i think the fact that i can own that is there's power in that period and that goes for anyone in any minority situation if you can own who you are the people in the majority situation don't, don't got nothing on you like i'm telling you i think that was like one of the biggest blessings and realizations that I've ever realized in my entire life. The things that make you different, bitch, that's your superpower. But yeah, all in all, I do feel like it was a great learning experience. I don't regret it at all. And I actually am going back to college next year. So I'm actually really excited for that. I'm going to try to balance auditions and content creation with school. So we're going to see how that goes. It didn't work out the first time and I was stressed out the first time, but we shall see because I got a different mindset now and hopefully this shit works out. Um, If you guys are considering doing this, considering following in my footsteps and leaving college to go pursue your dream career, whether that's entertainment or something else, I would say have a plan. If you don't accomplish what you want to accomplish in in a certain time frame like let's say for me it was one year but obviously because of the pandemic I had to wait another year because I didn't want to go to college now during the whole pandemic that's a whole nother message but um give yourself a time frame and be like if I don't make it by this I'm gonna go back to college have something to rely on and have something to fall back on and then if I have spare time then I could go pursue my dreams also on the side that is what I would recommend to all y'all but yeah with that being said thank you guys for watching this video and how and why I dropped out I don't know it was a mess girl but um it's a good experience it's a good experience no compliance no compliance but yeah anyways guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week deuces yeah, yeah.